So is your objection that God wouldn't come down in, hum in human form, that he cannot reveal himself in human form? That's what the Bible tells you. God, God's the spirit. So God will manifest himself spiritually in people, but God does not become a baby. God does not walk around. It tells you that God dwells in unapproachable light that nobody can see or has ever seen. And you cannot see the face, the panim, the presence of God and live. That's why he has angels who come down. When angels appear, the author will record the Lord appeared. Just like in, in the book of Matthew 8, when it tells you that Jesus went to Capernaum and a centurion came and Jesus said to the centurion and the centurion said to Jesus. But when we read the book of Luke 7, we're, we're told that the centurion didn't actually show up. It was the Jewish elders. He said, I did not consider myself worthy to come to you. So I sent forth my friends when they came to Jesus. So the author will tell you the centurion came because in the Hebrew culture, it was very nominative when somebody gives authorization for another person to act on their behalf, the author will record the principal showed up, even though this is not literally true. Okay, so people are not understanding how they saw God. Yes, they saw God when they saw the angels, just like they saw the Father when they saw Jesus. It's it's representation uh, agency, surely it's not literal. Sure. I'm just I'm just looking at um, Genesis 18. You're probably familiar with it when um, the Lord appears with two angels before Abraham. Um, and the gist of the story is uh, the Lord stays with Abraham and the two angels go down to Sodom and Gomorrah. Well, actually, I could be wrong. Uh, the Lord goes down to Sodom and Gomorrah and he calls down fire and brimstone from Yahweh of heaven. I'm just trying to find the exact verse. Um, Genesis 19, 24. 19, yeah, I think it's 18. But it doesn't say the Lord appeared to these two angels. It never says that. It literally says that. It doesn't say that. 18, 1. Literally it does not say the Lord appeared with two angels. It never says that. Read, never says it, that. No. And the Lord never says the Lord appeared him. with two angels. It says three men appeared. And the Lord as the Lord appeared. One. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains of Mamre, and he sat in the tent door. Yeah. The so it says the Lord appeared. Exactly. To him. Yes. Um, which is yeah. Exactly the what Lord I did appear. The Lord did appear, just like the centurion appeared to Jesus, but it wasn't really the centurion. So again author will tell you the centurion came to Capernaum and he met with Jesus and Jesus spoke to the centurion but it wasn't really the centurion the centurion sent forth the elders on his behalf and when the centurion does this the author will tell you the centurion appeared so what you're suggesting is the Lord appeared with two angels it does not say that it says the Lord appeared yes and then it says three men three men all three of them are angels because it tells you when Abraham runs out to meet them some translations will say sirs or my lords it switches from an Adonai to a plurality Adonai which is actually an El Adonai which is a simple master or ruler so even though it says the Lord appeared when Abraham addresses the Lord he switches it to a simple Adonai okay plurality for Adonai and he weighs he shaka and worships him all three of them the same exact worship that's given to the two angels in Genesis 19, which Lot also calls sirs or lords, Adonai. So this is what happens when, again, people are not getting agency. Yes, it will tell you the Lord appeared. Yes, it will tell you the centurion appeared. But it's not literal. It's agency. The centurion did not consider himself worthy to come to Jesus, so he sent forth the elders. We cannot see God's presence and live, so he sends forth the, the angels. The angels will show up. It will tell you the Lord shows up because they, it says, I will send forth an angel and you will listen to him or he will not forgive your transgressions for my name is in him. The name of the Lord is in the angel. So the author will record the Lord appeared, but it's not literal.